Hey guys, I'm happy that you are here. My name is Betcho and I am your plantito from Mindanao. Join me once again in my plant journey. For those of you who are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification para updated kayo sa mga latest videos ng Betchoy Vlog. Gusto nyo bang maging healthy, lush at marami yung saha ng inyong alocasia black velvet? Well, this video is really intended for you. So today guys, isi-share ko sa inyo yung mga tips and some secret tricks kung paano ko napalago yung aking mga alocasia black velvet kagaya ng inyong nakikita dito. I only started with one pot of alocasia black velvet and then eventually dumami na sila ng dumami until ngayon meron na akong 10 pots and they still keep on producing more babies or saha as we call it here in the Bisaya. And if flex ko lang yung tatlong pots na king alocasia black velvet, yung dalawang pots na andito sa likuran, actually mga mother plants na ito and maybe you can see it here, medyo luma na nga yung pot na nilagyan ko nito may mga algaes na kaya nilagay ko lang sa isang plastic pot. For this one here in front, this is still 2 months old. I can see naman na maganda yung growth na because it keeps on producing large foliage. To share with you lang guys, alocasias actually isa sa mga pinaka-favorite ko na mga varieties of plants because of so many reasons. One is that they are very easy to take care. Number two is that they are very affordable. And then number three, mabilis lang silang paramihin or ipropagate. Ang alocasia black velvet is actually one of the more popular and trending na variety ng alocasia. And I think almost all collectors, meron talagang alocasia black velvet sa kanilang collection. Am I right or am I right? They are very affordable and very easy to find in the plant market. And the prices ranges from... 50 pesos to around 350 pesos and swerte lang talaga ako guys kasi yung black velvet ko was just given to me but then again yung pricing din naman ng mga black velvet they they vary from different locations and also the quality of the plant and for today guys is share ko sa inyo paano ko i take care itong aking mga black velvet and for me ito yung i think effective na ways kasi from what i can see they're really thriving so well and I, I think effective naman yung pampag-aalaga ko sa aking mga black velvet. And i-divide lang natin into four parts yung ating mga care tips. Una is yung watering. Second is yung lighting requirement. Third will be the soil being used or yung kanyang medium. And fourth will be the fertilizer or yung pataba. And let's start with the watering tips. And to set things straight, ito talaga yung isa sa pinaka-cliche na statement as a plant lover. The fastest way to kill your plant is to overwater them. Ang pagdidilig or yung watering ng ating mga alocasia black velvet plays a vital role sa growth ng ating mga plants. Para naman sa pagdidilig ko sa aking mga alocasia black velvet, wala akong specific na frequency. There are times na once in every two days, sometimes once in every four days, tsaka minsan nga aabot pa ng isa lang sa isang linggo. But before I water my black velvet, the first thing I need to do is to check on the soil condition first. And there are actually two ways to check on its condition. First is through finger test and second is through a moisture meter gadget. So first, let's talk about the finger test. So paano ba gawin yung finger test? It's just simply sticking your finger sa soil mga around 1 to 2 inches and then bury it there. At sa pag pull out mo ng iyong finger, if may soil na sumama, then it means good pa yung soil natin. Okay pa yung moisture content niya. And that means there is no need to water pa at that point. Pero kung sa pag pull out mo ng iyong finger at medyo kokonti lang yung soil na sumama at saka wala ka masyadong na feel na moisture, parang mushy doon sa soil niya, then it means na yung plant natin, yung alocasia natin, it needs to be watered na. So ito guys, let's do an actual sample. Let's do a finger test sa isa nating black velvet. So si stick natin mga 1 to 2 inches na nating finger sa soil. Pero dahan-dahan lang. Yan. And then after pulling out, yan. I think you can see it here. Merong kukunting soil na sumama. Then it means okay pa yung soil condition natin. No need to water pa. When 
na-stuck ko yung finger ko doon sa soil. May na-feel pa ako na medyo basa pa siya. So, talagang goods pa yung soil natin. So, ito naman guys. Para mag-set lang tayo ng example. This one, let's stuck our finger here. Actually, medyo nahirapan yung finger ko mag-pumasok dito. So, that means na medyo dry na talaga yung soil natin and it needs watering na. Medyo dry talaga yung feel niyan. Kukunti lang yung soil na sumama. And that's it for our finger test. And now let's go to the more reliable method of checking the soil condition of our plant. And that is through the use of a moisture meter gadget. There are actually two types of a moisture meter. One is a digital type and then the other one is an analog type. So just very simple lang naman ito. Isistick lang yung moisture meter natin sa ating soil. And then si moisture meter na yung mag-a-analyze ng water content or moisture content ng ating plant. If it's dry, if it's still okay, or, or if it's overwatered na. Unfortunately, wala ako moisture meter na gadget, but it's readily available naman sa mga online shops and the price ranges from 300 to 1,000 pesos. Personally, I prefer to use the finger test lang because it's easy lang din naman and I don't need to spend some cash na din. I feel din kasi kapag gumamit tayo ng moisture meter, there is that high risk na baka may matamaan tayo doon sa ating roots or worse, ating bulbs. Unlike kasi sa finger test, you have a total control and we feel mo talaga kung meron kang matatamaan or wala. And I do full watering on my alocasia black velvet. Wala akong sinusunod na specific volume or amount of water when I water my alocasia black velvet. So how do I do full watering? So I just water the top soil until such time na mag-drain na yung water natin sa hole ng ating pot, then I stop. It's also very important guys na dapat evenly yung pag-water natin ng ating plants and not just in one spot. We need to make sure din guys na yung size ng ating pots is tamang-tama lang din para sa ating mga plants. Kasi kapag medyo malaki yung pots natin, there is that chance na matagal siya mag-dry out and later on it may cause a root rot sa ating mga plants. Also make sure na meron dapat holes yung ating mga pots para ma-insure natin na madrain talaga yung water sa ating soil. Isang trivia din guys, gustong gusto ng mga alocasia black velvet yung area which is high in humidity. So isang trick na ginagawa ko is pinagsama-sama ko yung aking mga alocasia black velvet para at least ma-increase yung humidity in that area. Isang trick ko din is I do misting sa aking mga alocasia black velvet on a daily basis and then usually I do it in the morning using a spray bottle para ma-increase din yung humidity in the area. Now, let's go to the lighting requirement of our alocasia black velvet. At para naman sa aking mga alocasia black velvet, I place them in an area which is bright and shaded. Again, let me emphasize that one that's bright and shaded. But I also make sure na nakakakuha din sila ng morning sun. And yung mga black velvet ko guys, actually natatamaan sila ng morning sun. And when I say morning sun, that's sunlight na between 7 to 9 a.m. Unlike sa mga ibang klase ng mga alocasias, itong black velvet, yung leaves niya actually is a bit thicker as compared to ibang klase ng mga alocasias. That's why they can tolerate morning sun na direct sunlight talaga. Just make sure lang na yung morning sun natin is only up to 9 a.m. Kasi kapag more than 9 a.m. na, I think that would be very too hot na for 4-hour plants and then magkukos na yan ng sunburn. At malalaman din naman natin kung nasa sunburn na yan yung mga leaves kapag meron na mga brown patches or yung mga butas-butas na yung ating mga leaves. So ayun guys, isa yun sa aking mga secrets and then aking mga tricks kung paano lumaki yung leaves na aking mga black velvet. Just make sure that you provide them direct morning sun kasi I've read in an article na in order for our plants to produce large foliage, they need an ample source of light. So isang tip din na masishare ko sa inyo guys, if you would want your black velvet na kanyang mga leaves na evenly distributed, dapat nakarotate siya regularly just like this one. Pero naman, kung gusto mo na one side lang yung growth niya, there would be, uh, there's no need na para i-rotate siya. If ganito lang din naman yung gusto mo, isang side lang yung growth niya. Alocasias in general, they will really try to look for a good source of light. Kaya ganito yung parang direksyon ng kanyang mga leaves.
And that's it for our lighting requirement. Now let's go naman sa ating soil mix or sa ating medium being used for my alocasia black velvet. The soil mix being used for our alocasia black velvet is actually very vital then para sa growth ng ating mga plants. The soil mix being used should have enough space for air to circulate. The soil mix should also be draining or parang sakto lang na every time we water our plants, hindi nasusok yung ating mga roots. The soil mix should also be able to hold moisture kasi yung ating mga alocasia black velvet, they love moisture. The soil mix that I am using is actually a combination of loam soil, pumice, and vermicast. So ito yung ratio natin guys, it's 60% loam soil and then itong loam soil natin, ito yung makuhold ng moisture para sa ating plants. And 25% pumice and this would create space for drainage and at the same time provide good air circulation. Pero kung wala kayong pumice guys, you can actually use small stones or pebbles as an alternative. And 15% of vermicast for added nutrients. And with that, let's now talk about the fertilizer or the pataba na being used for the alocasia black velvet. I usually use vermicast or worm poops in most of my plants. And I bought my vermicast from an online shop and it's I think 25 pesos per kilo. Pero kapag walang available na vermicast, you can actually use other animals manure. Pwedeng goat's manure or cow's manure or maybe horse manure. And there are times na gumagamit lang din ako ng goat's manure. Para sa ating vermicast, magtatap up lang tayo between 4 to 6 months siguro or kung makikita natin na medyo limited or medyo mahina na yung growth ng ating plants. So that's it guys. Yun yung mga care tips and yung mga secrets na ginagawa ko sa pag-aalaga ng aking mga alocasia black velvet. Kayo ba? Meron ba kayong mga specific practices or mga care tips na ginagawa din aside dun sa mga na-mention ko? Baka pwede nyo namang i-share sa atin sa ating comment box. And I hope na yung mga tips na na-share ko sa inyo guys will be useful naman on your end. And before we end our video, let's do some shoutouts first. Hi kay Sir Eric Mariposa. Hi din kay Sir Lito Albert. Hello din kay Ma'am Cheryl Kataytay. Hello din kay Ma'am Nancy Espada. Hi kay Ma'am Anna Bay from Tagaytay City, Cavite. Hello din kay Ma'am Feli Sudo. Hello din kay Ma'am Minay Medrano. Hi kay Ma'am Joy Aviles. Hello din kay Mak Lim Huko. Hi kay J. Wills Adlawan. Hello kay Marisa Torres. At para naman doon sa mga nag-message atin sa Instagram, hello kay Sir Paul Vidal. Hi kay Ma'am Jayin Olalia. Hello din kay Ma'am Marie Kabugnason. Hello kay Sir Edu Garcia and kay Sir Antonio Sarmiento. Please follow me on IG and my ID is betchoy underscore vlog and let's talk about plants. And disclaimer lang natin guys, I am not a plant expert nor a botanist. Isa lang po akong plant enthusiast and if ever meron tayong mga maling information na na-share dito, I hope you can correct it by commenting in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and click the bell notification para updated kayo sa mga latest videos from Betchoy Vlog. Once again, this is Betchoy, your plantito from Mindanao. Happy planting!